All right, let's try this the second time. And we are back. My name is Andy. I'm a big fan of Los Ingobernables de Japan. And I'm a huge fan of Kin Pearl cards. And once again, it's time for an unboxing. Not one. I got two. And I got two because this is the best of Super Junior Volume 18 Kin Pearl cards. I bought these from ProCentralShop.com. Where you should pre order your stuff because these all sold right out. And these have been released right now because we're right in the middle of the 2016 Best of the Super Juniors. Opening night was pretty great. I watched some of the matches. I didn't watch the ones posted today. I'll have to get to that. But I came home. Went to the Pirates game today. They beat the Arizona Diamondbacks. It was awesome. I only got a little sunburnt. But what are you going to do? We're going to open some Ken Pearl cards. I might do two videos since I got two boxes. But... Let's see how the first one goes. All right, so first off is your PR card, Kushida. Now, I've seen one other video so far, and somebody got Kushida, so I think there's going to be a lot of Kushida PR cards. All right, now Kim Pearl packs, three cards in a pack. There are rares, there are double rares, there's signature cards, there's all sorts of shiny cards. This set includes current juniors plus I'm real excited because it's the classic guys like the great Sasuke and Hayabusa and Ultimo Dragon who guys I just loved just loved watching and getting into been into them for years been into them since the late 80s all right scissors there are Three cards in each pack, and there are ten cards in each box. All right, so. Procrastinating, you didn't cut that one so well. All right. Out of the box, we've got. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the first one's awesome. Number one. Moonsaw Press. And I am not sure who that is. I th think... I'm not sure, so I don't want to say. And I'm looking at the back and I can't really tell. I'm going to get confused on some of these because these aren't all New Japan guys or classic guys. But I'll get back to that one. Now check this out. That looks like a double rare. Jishin Thunder Liger. It's got to be the best, right? And then, Mr. X Boot Skill? And that, my friends, is Bushi. And guess who's a huge fan of Bushi? Can you guess? Yeah, you guessed right. All right. Off to a great start with the first box. Or the first pack. Of the first box. Again, you can get these at ProCentralShop.com, which I recommend you check Three or four times every single day because he's always updating with the best stuff. And they've already announced that Volume 19 is coming out, I think, in the beginning of August. And that is going to be a G1. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at this pack. First off, more Bushi. For a set that's not going to have any Yano-san, I will take the Bushi cards. Bushi blow in the mist. Then Gato. Gato and Bushi had a really good match, actually. Really good match on opening night. So, I love that. And here, I'll have to check the rarity later. Look at that shining Bushi card. Bushi, Bushi, Bushi. If I went to Kurokun Hall, I would sit in the Bushi section, and I would wear my Bushi mask when Bushi wrestled. I would not leave, though, because if I went to all the expense to get to Tokyo and buy expensive tickets and buy an expensive Bushi match... But I'm staying for Kushida and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, I'm staying till the end. I'm going to be the first one in and the last one out. Alright, pack number three. I was going to make a joke about Western Toilets, but then I decided it wasn't funny. Oh. Oh, oh. Another Gato with a move. Gato with the Chain Crusher. One of my brand new favorites. I love this guy. Will Ospreay. And it's another shiny. 
and he is tearing it up. Although he hasn't won yet. A lot of people are picking him to win the Best of Super Juniors. I'm actually in a poll on a website called Voices of Wrestling. And I picked Bushi to win, but to beat Will Ospreay. And they're doing a Super J Cup in August. And I think he's going to be featured in that. And oh my god, look at this. This is, this is a real shiny Hayabusa with the Phoenix Splash. I can tell this is a triple R card. Man, Hayabusa was just so great. Everyone knows Hayabusa and FMW. I loved Hayabusa in all Japan. I thought that was great stuff. All right. Pets don't want to cooperate. All right, this time. I'm just going to tear that one up. Sleeper hold. Now that's Liger taking the sleeper hold. I believe that is Yamamoto from Dragon's Gate who has given it to him. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell by the back. I gotta look into that one. But Liger taking a sleeper hold. The great Bobby Fish. Who doesn't love Bobby Fish? He and Kyle O'Reilly, Red Dragon, one of the best tag teams in the world right now. And Mystico. Probably a second Mystico at this point. Tupa. Tope A. Suicida. I took French in high school instead of Spanish, and it dealt with this girl. And I don't want to talk about it, because I graduated from high school more than 30 years ago. So those wounds are healed. Right, 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 right. Okay. I forget which pack this is. I'm just going to force it open at this point. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Fujiochi. Why am I drawing a blank on this guy's name? He used to be in a soccer pro and I loved him. And he changed his name, but I can't I'm blanking on the name right now. He's awesome though. He's a funny guy. Rocky Romero. Very underrated. Rapongi Vice. Always entertaining. And here is the great. Great Sasuke. Man, back in the mid-90s, we watched so many Mitch Pro tapes. We got all the Mitch Pro tapes. We got all the FMW. Love, love, great Sasuke. So disappointed I never got to see him live. I got to see Taka Michinoku live. And I got to see some of those other guys live when they were in the Fed. Never got to see the great Sasuke. Halfway through, five more packs. Wanted to see where we are. All right. Still haven't figured out how to play this card game. I don't know that I ever will. But that's okay. The cards in and of themselves are so awesome. Ooh, all right. Look at this. First off, another Sasuke. And he's doing something questionable with the two crazy brothers with the funky haircuts. Okay. Matt Seidel. Partner of Ricochet. Used to be Evan Bourne in the WWE. Now he's doing much better. Another shiny Shinjiro Otani. How great was Shinjiro Otani? He's still a great. I don't see him as much because I don't see so much Zero One stuff because there's just so much to watch. But Otani, Otani's the man. Next lap. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I don't want to go da -da 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 three times because that's probably a copyright infringement. My cards are going everywhere. Stay there. <sighs> Another Bobby Fish move card with a jumping back elbow. That's pretty cool. Here is one I've seen other people of Taguchi. I don't know when this was from. He doesn't have facial hair like that. The funky weapon. And it's like he's got a Game of Thrones jacket on or something. That's not so funky. I guess you could use that as a weapon, though. Uh, the Dragon Age guy, he's pretty cool. BXB Hulk. All decked out in white here. All decked out in white. So, how about that? I'm going to save that for later. 
I'm definitely going to shoot two videos. So this is going to be part one of volume 18 and soon to be followed by part two of volume 18. From now on, when these new card sets come out, I'm always getting two sets. Because even with two boxes, there's 100 in each collection, and you're only getting like 60, so... All right. Nick Jackson with one half of the Indy Taker. Then we've got Mascara Dorada, who's now back in Mexico. Who's with New Japan, and they really didn't do a lot with him, which is disappointing. But I've seen some of his CMLL stuff since he came back. I watch CMLL on the live stream every Friday night. So, mad props to Dorada. Jado, to go with my Gato cards. Kids, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Captain Pro Wrestling Noah, it's Jado. It's Jado in an outfit. Captain Noah, it's Jado. What can I tell you? I break kayfabe. Used to do it all the time on our podcast, Counting the Lights, countinglights.com. Go check that out. I swear to you, there will be new content some one of these days. They're doing a brand split now, so how can there not be content? We're going to talk about Raw and SmackDown. One of them might actually be watchable for once. Wouldn't that be something nice? You can watch wrestling on the TV. I apologize. I'm going to get so much heat from guys. I even have a figure of this guy sitting like right there behind me. And I cannot... Ebison! Ebison! He was Ebison! In Osaka Pro, this is Ebison, and he changed his name. He's no longer Ebison, and I still don't know his new name. So what can I tell you? Another Bushi card? Gotta love the Bushis. And here is a triple rare. Great Sasuke. Let me move my fingers. Great Sasuke fought in Battle Arts. Great Sasuke. Fought Onita in the Barbed Wire Exploding Match. And he didn't get his WWF run after he bragged about it. Now what are you going to do? I'm glad he didn't get his WWF run. You know what? He's better off in Japan. Alright, this is the last pack, and we're going to call this Part 1. And there will be a part two, but I'm coming up on 15 minutes, so I should split these apart. Because <sighs> I want to talk about these cards. First off, Trent Beretta. Not the biggest Trent Beretta, but with a knee strike move. He had a great match with Will Ospreay. I will say, I will say that. That match with Ospreay was great. And a Trent Beretta card. Kind of shiny. I think they're doing shiny cards for the guys who are in the Best of Super Junior this year. And then the last card of box number one is Masahiro Mochizuki. Pretty awesome. There he's kicking Ishii. I didn't even know they actually worked together. That must have been from a few years ago. Because I remember him mostly from uh, Torimond and some Dragon's Gate stuff. And some more stuff he did. So there is that. All right. Stay tuned. This was part one. Part two is coming up right now. And hold your horses. Here we go.